All right, we're back, and I just grinded a few levels, and as you saw, I got the axe armor ability. Yes, this is a very useful ability that I will be using quite often. It does take up a lot of uh, hearts or MP or whatever the heck you want to call it, but uh, yeah. I mean, nothing's cheap, really. I mean, nothing pe that powerful is cheap, or else it'd be broken, but... Anyway, we're moving on. Uh, if you didn't watch my previous video, we just killed the first boss, and damn, that is powerful. It's really good for, um, you know, opening, uh, the opening areas, so... Yeah, anyway, we were, we just, uh, defeated the, um, the first boss. It wasn't too difficult. And now we're going to deeper into Dracula's castle. Or is it Dracula's castle? <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm just messing. Anyway, secret wall! A red potion. Oh, wait, mind up. Alright. Yeah, I always, I used to always get confused that, I always thought red meant, like, health and, uh, blue meant, uh, like, MP, but, you know, this game inverts it. But then again, this game uses hearts for, like, restoring stuff, so those are red, I guess it makes sense. Anyway, moving on, we are traveling through a, uh, waterway right now, and I just got a soul, a bad soul. We're getting souls pretty easily, I mean... It didn't even take me that long to grind for axe armor. Flying armor, yeah. I mean, not as long as it usually takes, but... Yeah. Now we're gonna equip flying armor because that is a really important ability. It'll allow us to, um... Glide short distances. Killer fish! Holy shit, we're getting, like... We're getting souls up the ass here. Huh. Well, let's see what this does. Tax enemies underwater. Well, let's try it out. Huh. That's cool. It makes like a mirror image. I never got this ability. Damn. That's really powerful. Oh. Damn fish. You know what? You die now. Bam. Now, as you can see, it dies when it's out of water. So, it's kind of useless, but... I guess it's helpful if you're in water areas. Like, I never really got that soul before, so, I mean, I guess I'll, it'll make some of the areas with water a little easier. But we're moving on now. We're going, now we're going up, and we're going to a save room. Which is kind of like Metroid save room, except it fully heals your health and stuff, as you've seen. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't really, like, properly introduce, uh, save rooms previous, in the previous video. In fact, I didn't introduce a lot of things in the previous video, I was kind of rambling on, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of getting used to Let's Plays. Well, in time I'll probably get better. I'll probably get better at managing things too. Yeah, I thought that was a broken wall for this off smoke, but yeah. Oh, right, blue crows, I hate blue fucking crows. Crows are usually an annoying enemy in Castlevania, and this game is no different. If you let a crow see you, you will get raped. And that enemy I used to think was probably going to be really hard, but disappointingly, <laughs> as you saw, I just one-shotted the thing. It's not just... even... even... It, yeah, as you can see, I could glide. But as you can see, um, you know, it wasn't that hard. And now here's the white dragon. The, these enemies are pretty challenging, usually. Especially in classic Castlevania games that weren't like this, but, uh, thanks to Axe Armor's ability, I succeeded. Huh. Zombie soldiers, that's pretty awesome. Axe Armor's, as expected. Oh, wow, we also got another soul. Zo the zombie soldier soul throws hand grenades. <laughs> Gotta try that. Let's give it a throw, once I get this armor to sell. Boom! 40 damage! Hmm, not bad. But I guess it's pretty good. Range is a little limited. What, Soma can't throw that far? the heck? He's like a vampire killer. And, oh, I neglect to got glide there. I am so smart. Right now, potions are really important, so I'm going back to get it. Yeah. I do this a few times in the Let's Play. Like, I kind of mess up on jumps. Like, but... Like, uh, I mean, in my recording, but I mean... Yeah. I always get... I always 
get the stuff I need. More or less, like I did there. Now we're fighting more soldiers and ghosts. These enemies are usually... I think these enemy ghosts are a lot more annoying in uh, the DS games because it's like the DS can handle more enemies on the screen than the Game Boy Advance. So they just spawn a shitload of ghosts in those games, but I digress. I mean, I guess in uh, Order of Ecclesia, they, they're only in like the first area in Order of Ecclesia, so they're not really an annoyance at all. And for some reason, they're horse heads. I mean, I guess it's nice that they use that they didn't recycle every sprite in that game. I'll admit there was quite a good amount of variety with the enemies in that game, but there was a half of the enemies were still like recycles from Symphony of the Night and or Rondo of Blood because <laughs> you know Hideo Kojima, like well, not Hide wait Hideo Kojima, that's Metal Gear, no. Irigashi loves to recycle stuff in his Castlevania games. I mean, <laughs> look at Harmony of Despair, that the Xbox Live Arcade title. That whole game is a fucking uh, recycle. But that doesn't mean it's quite that bad. I mean, for a downloadable game, it seems like it could be a lot of fun. Especially because it has co-op. So, I'm definitely going to check that out eventually. Probably not right away, because I'm trying to save money and all that stuff. I did just buy Fallout 3, though. That is a good game. I like Fallout 3. I'm glad I bought it. I kind of like it better than Oblivion, but maybe because I like more military stuff than like uh, fantasy stuff. But that's just me. I mean, if I didn't, but I still do like fantasy. I mean, if I if I didn't like fantasy, then I wouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> the game's all about fantasy. I mean, sure it has soldiers, but it's all fantasy. I mean, Dracula's Castle of the Moon. You're fighting undead. You're fighting. Animated armors throwing boulders at you. I mean, this whole game's all about fantasy. I mean, yeah. Moving on. I can't get that sword, so I don't know why I tried to hit it. And now we're going to climb because there's a save room up here, and it's a good idea to use, use save rooms constantly if you want to keep yourself healthy at this point of the game because there's no shop yet. Which is also why potions are important. No shop. Hey look, a character. Oh, hello there. You don't look suspicious at all. <laughs> Clearly he's human. Graham. Soma Cruz. Uh, warped? BOOM! I love how they, like, capitalize all that. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Dracula's castle. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you weren't just wandering through halls full of undead. I mean, come on, Soma. Get, get, get more aware than that. Usually the church handles stuff like this, apparently, even though Belmonts really do, but I guess maybe they're part of the church, but probably. Who knows? Anyway... So you're trying to tell me that Dracula's resurrected? Dracula, 1999. Ah, uh, no, I don't know the prophecy of 1999. Since when was there a Castlevania game that took place in 1999? Oh, I remember now. <laughs> oh yeah. I wish you know that'd be cool if they actually came out with a Castlevania game that uh took place in the 1999 events. They really need to do that. They need to make one of those kinds of games, and not just like a Metroidvania game, they really need to make like a classic style, side-scrolling and stuff, you know, classic Belmont action. Anyway, that was Graham. He's pretty important, he's act- no, not pretty, he's really important. But anyway, we're not gonna leave this area just yet. We're gonna go get some stuff. Stuff that could help us. Cause stuff is fun to find. And in this case, really helpful. And I traverse underwater, which pretty much just allows me to bypass all the mermen, which is good for me. I already have bats, so that's useless. Yeah, unlike in Dawn of Sorrow, you don't level up your um, s skills. Oh, ooh, money. Yeah, you don't level up your skills uh, by getting multiple ones. Um, you're getting multiple of the same one, which is... Uh, but then again, this game came out before that, so it's not really expected, but... 
it's kind of weird that you can still stack up on that on the stuff and like have nothing to do with all of them. But I digress. We're moving on, and we're killing mermen because mermen are fun to kill. Like everything in this game, almost everything in this game. Because not everything in this game is that fun to kill. I mean, there are some really challenging enemies, some really, really tough ones that we will encounter later, maybe soon, I don't know, probably.